Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, I'm going to be creating this large doily. Uh, it came in as a request from one of my subscribers. Um, as it is large, I don't plan to give any actual instructions during the video, so you'll want to be um, familiar with the stitch and have made a few doilies um, before uh, doing one of these large uh, pieces. Um, I'm going to be using the two needle stitch. If you would like videos for the one needle stitch, uh, please send in a request and I will add it to my list of requests and it will be done in the order that the requests are received. Now this is my Christmas Design 05 uh, Pattern Collection 1 size 4L doily. Uh, these are my faceted bead colors that I will be using in the video. Uh, you can choose to use um, seed beads or other types of beads. Um, but I will be calling the um, avocado green in the video, the sun gold yellow, and the ruby I'll be calling red so that it will be a little bit easier for you to uh, know which colors to use of the ones you have chosen. I'm going to be using my faceted beads and fishing line. In this video I'm only using four feet because I'm giving instruction at the beginning, but most of the videos I'll be using five feet. Now if you're a beginner uh, and you haven't really done one of my doilies before, I recommend that you go to this playlist and do a few before you try doing this large piece. Also, if you're interested in some smaller pieces, I have napkin ring videos and I have jewelry videos and you can find those at this playlist. The colors that I use for the napkin rings are the matted colors here and the colors for the jewelry are these um, silver lined colors here. Alright, now we will begin. I will move the piece out of the way. And I have here the first half of the pattern because when I do my large pieces, I start at the bottom um, center of the pattern, which is the way I d put them in the book is do you have half the pattern on two pages and then half the pattern on the other two pages. So I start at the bottom center and then I do half the pattern and then once we've done that I'll bring in the other half of the pattern and we will finish off the other half. So for this we'll want your two ends and we are going to start Start. Let me open up my beads here. And my start bead, which you can put on either string, is red. And then we need a red on both strings. And a second red on both strings. And then we are going to cross with a green. And there is our first circle. Alright, now we need a green on both strings. And another green on both strings. And then we're going to cross with a green. Then we need red on both strings. Red again. 
again on both strings and cross with a red. Then we need a red on both strings, then a yellow on both strings, and then we're going to cross with red. And every little bit I will show you the piece so that you can make sure that yours is matching mine. Now we need yellow on both strings and yellow again on both strings and cross with red. Then we need a yellow on both strings and a red on both strings and cross with a yellow. Then we need yellow on both strings yellow on both strings and cross with a yellow then we'll need red on both strings and red on both strings and cross with a green and here's what we have so far now we're going to do green on both strings and green on both strings and cross with the green then green on both strings and red on both strings and cross with a yellow yellow on both strings and yellow on both strings and cross with a yellow then we need red on both strings and yellow on both strings and cross with a red Then we need red on both strings and green on both strings and cross with a red. Alright, let's 
check our piece. This is what we should have at this point. Now we're going to do green on both strings, red on both strings, and cross with a red. We're going to do red on both strings. Red on both strings. And cross with the yellow. Then yellow on both strings. And yellow again on both strings. And cross with the yellow. Then we'll have red on both strings and yellow on both strings. And cross with the red. We have red on both strings. Red again on both strings. And we're going to cross with the red. We're going to do red on both strings, yellow on both strings, and cross with a red. Then we need yellow on both strings. Red on both strings. And cross with a green. Right, and here is your piece. Now I have the center of the pattern marked with a C, and that's where we are right now. We're adding on the center. So we're adding a green to both strings. Green to both strings. And crossing with a green. Then we need red on both, yellow on both, and cross with a red. And we need a yellow on both, red on both, and cross with the red. We need 
red on both. Another red on both. And then we'll cross with a red. Now we need a yellow on both. And a red on both. And cross with a red. Oh wait, wait, wait. Nope, sorry about that. Take the red off. And we're going to cross with a yellow. And let me check. Okay, we're good. And here is from the center to where we are now. Alright. Now we're going to add a yellow to both. And again, yellow to both. And then we're going to cross with yellow. And then we need red on both. And red again on both. And cross with a red. Then we need red on both. And green on both. And we're going to cross with a red. Then we want green on both. Red on both. And we're going to cross with a red. yellow on both, red on both, and cross with the yellow. All right, we'll show you again to the halfway point. You can check this half of your work. Now we're going to add a yellow to both. And a yellow again to both. And then we're going to cross with a yellow. Now we're going to add a red to both. Followed by a green to both. And then we're going to cross with the green. And we'll add green to both. Green again to both. And we're going to cross with the green. Now we'll add red to both. And red again to both. And we're going to 
come across with a yellow. Then we're going to add yellow to both. And yellow to both. And then we're going to cross with a yellow. Now we want to add red to both. Then yellow to both. And cross with a red. I don't think we'll make quite to the end of this row. Adding a yellow to both. And yellow again to both. And I think we will tie off here, so we need a red. Now if you're going to tie off, you can put the red on either string. And then I do a single knot and a double overhand, which means you go over twice, bring it down. Then I slip the knot inside my bead, which is the red top one. Flip it in and pull tight. Now, if your um, bead is too small for the string to hide the knot inside of it, then you'll just want to thread back. Um, with the knot, I thread back at least two center circles. Um, if you cannot do a knot, I recommend you go back about five center, maybe even six center beads. Um, and that will secure your string. So to just tie back, you just go through your two side beads. And you cross the center bead. And then you go do it again and you repeat it at least five or six times if you are unable to do a knot. And here I'm only going to do it twice because I was able to do the knot. But you'll want to continue at least five or six times. Um, I don't think I showed you the um, pieces up to this point. So here is this half. This is the center here. And this is this half's pattern. And I will clip off the excess. And I hope you enjoyed beading with me today, and I hope to see you in the next video.